Whoa. Roll rate seems insane. Alright, gonna try a stall test a bit here. Or maybe not. I think install it wants to roll over on its back. It's sort of wandering around a little bit, feels like. It just feels like it catches a gust every once in a while and then... Oh boy. Okay, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I guess that's a stall. I guess I'm not flying fast enough, that's probably why. I'm gonna keep the power up. That's that was terrifying. <laughs> it's just rolling too much. Uh, I'm gonna have to land it towards me, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not sure where it wants to roll. This thing is sketchy as frig. It's like if you unload the wing, it suddenly becomes really unstable and roll. So you gotta keep load on the wing or something. gonna keep the speed up all right I can hear the battery alarm I'm gonna try for an approach I think that wow that's really touchy that's super touchy I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing down I still have to do my best whatever happens happens Jesus. This thing is fast. It's a weird... Oh, man. I'm gonna run out of battery here soon. Wow. Wow. Is that just Dutch roll? I don't know. All right, they're coming. Not down. All right, I'm gonna move down to this end of the runway so I can land it better at my feet. Get down, come on. Holy cow, this thing is fast. <laughs> I don't have much more of these more left here. I gotta get it down. This thing is a missile. <laughs> oh boy, come on. All right, I'm gonna try and put it down on this one no matter what happens. I can't see it. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the battery. I'm going down. Oh. All right. Well. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> oh boy. Let's look at that we did. Well, the nose is in a couple pieces. So it looks like it's mostly there. More or less. We got a bit of damage on the vertical stabilizer here. This took most of the impact. We should just be able to glue that right back on. I might have to redo some of these canards here. You can see these aren't quite right. This intake has to come back down. Yeah, hatch looks in decent condition. It's a bit bent, but that's all right. Hopefully our pedo tube isn't like completely clogged. So I mean, if you look at it, how many pieces do we have really? We've got one, uh, this is still attached. This is, uh, I'm gonna call this still attached because the these go back to the pedo tube sensor. So this is part of this, this won't come off. Uh, we got the hatch, which is supposed to come off. And then we got this guy. So. 
I think we're in two pieces. That's not too bad in the grand scheme of things, if you really think about it. I mean, the repairs are going to be minor, so that's easy. I think I'm actually going to end up doing some modifications based on what we see in the data, because I want to look at the data. I want to get an idea of like what the stall speed of this thing is, where it tops out in terms of speed. Um, I want to investigate like the sort of coupling that's going on that's causing that weird roll stuff. Um, I have a feeling it might be like Dutch roll. Um, maybe putting the elevon so low and close to the wing was not a good idea. Maybe they're like influencing it and causing some weird stuff to happen there. Um, maybe I need like uh, to add more washout into the wing so that it tip stalls less. Maybe it's just tip stalling the whole time. Yeah, that's sort of the great thing about having a flight controller in your aircraft is uh, now that I've crashed it, I can figure out what I did wrong, how the airplane's behaving wrong, and then. Uh, make modifications based on that so that it'll work better in the future. We're gonna try and learn from this and uh, repair it, maybe make some improvements, and we'll be back up in the air soon.